Welcome everybody. Welcome to Apple Insider. It's me, Andrew, here. You can find me on Twitter at Andrew underscore OSU. Now, how many of you out there work out with your Apple Watch? Just raise your hands. I'm, I'm going to assume you're raising your hands because you already clicked into this video. And you want to know how you can take your workouts to a whole nother level by using automations in the Shortcuts app over on your iPhone. This app literally comes installed on every iPhone. And a lot of people don't take advantage of it, understand it, or know what it's fully capable of. So we're gonna kind of break down in this video with a very niche subject matter, which is how to use the Shortcuts app to create personal automations to upgrade your workout experience. We're gonna talk about a bunch of different stuff that you can automate using that Shortcuts app whenever you do a workout. So let's go ahead and talk about uh, one of my favorite subjects, workouts, and of course automations. So to do this, you're gonna need a couple things. You're, of course, you're gonna need an Apple Watch and you're gonna need an iPhone. You need the Shortcuts app too, but like I said, it comes pre-installed, so you don't have to do any funny trickery there to get that thing on your phone. Then, all you have to do is launch that Shortcuts app to get started. Once you have the Shortcuts app open, go to the second tab at the bottom, the one that's called Automation. You may or may not have anything already in the space. Then you're gonna tap that plus button in the top right hand corner. And in this case, we're gonna choose create personal automation. So not a home automation, a personal automation. We're gonna tap on that. Now we need to know what is going to trigger our shortcut, our automation. And right there on the screen, you can see Apple Watch Workout. So as an example, when I start a workout. Now there are two different things you can do here. So first we can do any workout. There's lots of different options here. So any workout you do, maybe you wanna turn the fan on, close the shades, adjust the lighting, uh, anything like that. But you may have things you do for a particular workout. So for me, I do my bike with Apple Fitness Plus. So I'm using like a video, guided video and stuff like that, which has music and everything kind of go with it. But if I'm doing a strength workout, if I'm just lifting weights, I am not going to be using a video. And I usually need some music to go along with it. So in my case, instead of any workout, I'm gonna go down to maybe functional strength training. So whenever I do this type of workout and it starts, this is what I want to happen. Now you also notice an option for an end. So we can create this automation to start when you start your workout and end when your workout is done. And you can do it for any workout or specific types of workouts. So in my case, we wanna do it for functional strength training and I can go ahead and hit start and then I can hit add action. So there's tons of actions that you can add. I'm gonna start off with some home kit actions. I know you may not all have home kit stuff, but we're just gonna show some examples of what you could do if you have some different home kit accessories. So in my case, I'm gonna hit control our house and then I'm gonna go through here, and by the way, it's named our house. That's what my house is named. It may show up as uh, my home for you or whatever you've named it in the home app. So in my case, it is our house. I'm gonna scroll down the list and go to my living room and I'm gonna go ahead and add a couple things here. So I wanna turn on my hue gradient light strip. I wanna turn that on, bring some fun colors to the room as I'm doing my workout. Uh, I'm gonna add another smart home thing here. I also want to go back to the living room and in this case, I'm going to say uh, the window and I want that closed. I want that closed while I'm doing my workout. Uh, again, going back, another action. Control our house. Uh, in this case, I want to turn on a fan. Now you could have a fan plugged into a, uh, a smart plug. You have a, uh, you know, any HomeKit smart plug that you want to use, you can use it that way. Uh, or if you have a ceiling fan, if you have a ceiling fan controlled by a wall switch or anything like that, you have a Hunter ceiling fan that works in HomeKit, any of those, you can have those put in. And in my case, I want to turn the fan on. So right now, whenever I start a workout, it's going to go ahead and set my light strip to the colors that I want. It's going to open or close my window and it's going to turn the fan on. So already a great start to the workout. But what else can we do? I can actually go in here and I can set my watch face. Now, normally when you're in a workout, obviously you don't see your watch face, but a lot of times you're in your workout, you wanna check on your rings. So you have to go back to your watch face. Uh, so I may wanna go back here and do uh, maybe extra large where I have just a big complication set that shows my rings, really big focus on my rings. So I'm in the middle of a workout. Uh, I wanted to change my watch face to that extra large one so I can jump back to it and see my rings with ease as I am doing my workout. So it's really helpful to actually switch my watch face while I'm doing a workout. And when I'm done, I'll switch it back to my normal everyday watch face that I prefer. So I've gone ahead and set a watch face there. How about some music? If I go back to 
if you have any AirPlay 2 speakers in your house, great example. So I have to go again to control our house. Select scenes there. I'm gonna go down, do, 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 do. You got a HomePod, you've got any AirPlay 2 speaker, an Apple TV, anything like that. I wanna play on my Sonos Arc and I wanna go to choose audio and I'm gonna go down to a library. I'm gonna go down to a playlist and I'm gonna choose my workout playlist. Don't judge me. We're gonna go ahead and add that in there. Um, use anything you want, set the volume, repeat anything like that, boom. Done. So now, whenever I start a functional strength training workout, it's gonna close my shades, it's gonna turn on the ceiling fan, it's gonna adjust my lights to be super awesome, and it's gonna start my workout functional strength playing list on my uh, Sonos Arc right there in the living room where I do my workouts. So far, these are just some examples. That's all we're gonna really get into this video because there's so much you can do, but I love it. I mean, right now I start that workout, close the shades, turn on a fan, change my music playback, change my watch face. So much you can do, whether you have HomeKit accessories, you got an Apple Watch or anything. Just play around with the Shortcuts app. There's a ton of stuff that you can do that starts or stops based on those workouts. I freaking love it. So that is it. This app is seriously incredible. It, I feel like it just does so much more for you than people even realize. And when we're looking just at shortcuts, the possibilities are so open on what you can do. A lot of people do these tasks and they don't even realize that they're doing them. I always turn the fan on, I, all those types of things that I can just automate. And I get, people don't always have all those different home kit accessories. Not everyone has a home kit ceiling fan. That's a particularly hard item for people to incorporate into the home kit space. But, uh, Anything like turning on a regular fan that you have connected to a smart plug, very easy to do. Changing your watch face to highlight your rings, super easy to do. There's a lot of stuff you can do here that are particularly tailored to you as an individual. And of course, there's so much more you can do with shortcuts in general. Make sure you check out any of our other videos that I've done on how to do stuff with shortcuts, including how to change your watch face based on the time of day or your location, another favorite of mine. Anyway, stay tuned to Apple Insider. We got more content coming up. Let me know what you guys think over on Twitter at Andrew underscore OSU or check out the comments down below.